Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on simple classification of substances and specifically we are going to be looking at separation of mixtures. So, so far we have talked about a uh, use of a magnet, we have talked about uh, sublimation, we have talked about decantation, we have talked about filtration, we have talked about evaporation and crystallization. So today we are going to be looking at simple distillation method and we are going to concentrate on liquid solid mixtures where the liquid also dissolves and also it can also be used for liquid liquid mixtures but we are going to discuss that later on in the next lesson so let's begin uh, with what distillation is so distillation is the process where a liquid is heated and when the liquid is heated it forms a vapor it's vaporized and the, the specific thing about distillation is Allowing it to vaporize does not allow it to go to the atmosphere. We condense that vapor. So that vapor is eventually collected. We do not let it like uh, go into the atmosphere. Unlike normal evaporation. So it is usually used for purification of liquids. Uh, and it helps in separation of liquids from a mixture. So if you want to remove a certain liquid and you do not want the liquid to be lost completely, we use distillation because you heat the liquid evap uh, evaporates, it turns into a vapor, but the vapor now is condensed and you are able to obtain that vapor. So it utilizes the principle of difference in boiling point. So substances that have difference in boiling point are very uh, work best in this process and there are usually two types of distillation. So the first distillation is simple distillation. This is what we are going to discuss today and then next is fractional distillation. We will discuss this in the next lesson. So simple distillation, how does it occur? It is used in the purification of liquid containing dissolved substances. These dissolved substances can be in solid state. So it doesn't have to be two liquids. It can also have some things that are not in liquid state. It is very useful in separating mixtures, liquid mixtures or with contained uh, contamination or sub, uh, dissolved substances, but with a wide differing boiling point. This is the main difference between this uh, uh, method and fractional distillation. Later we will say that fractional distillation is uh, allows the principle where the solution or the liquids have close but differing boiling points but in this case you can see the boiling points can be widely differing simple distillation also can be able to separate liquid liquid mixtures and um, in this case the liquid forms a uniform homogeneous uh, solution so the one that has the lower boiling point is usually the one that distills off first and is usually collected so because of those two differing boiling points the one that has a very high boiling point will be left behind and the one that has a lower boiling point will be distilled off as the first so how how does distillation occur so an example of a solution that we want to distill is seawater we discussed about salt solution in crystallization but we are going to discuss on the same now using simple distillation in crystallization you will notice that we are not getting the water that we are evaporating but in simple distillation we will collect both the salt and we will also collect the water so it helps also in terms of economical value we do not lose anything so we are going to put the sea water in our distillation flask and then we are going to add a few uh, porcelain uh, porcelain um, to to be able to increase the surface area for condensation we can use pumice as pumice as an um, alternative these are small pieces of uh, porcelain broken down to be added they usually helps in uh, increasing surface area for condensation 
and also for evaporation. The solution will be heated and then when it starts to boil, we are going to start collecting uh, the distillate. We call it the distillate, the solution that is collected. So this is a simple distillation uh, diagram. You can see the salt solution is being heated and then it goes through this uh, delivery tube and then uh, it's cooled down on this cold water and we collect that liquid. This is a simple technique. This simple technique can, can be made even better or we can increase how condensation occurs faster by introducing an apparatus called Leibig condenser. So this is the apparatus. So Leibig condenser is this condenser here containing two pipes. There is a water in pipe and a water out pipe. So it is very important for you to notice where the water in and water out is. Naturally, we would think that the water should get in from the top and go outside from the bottom because it follows the gravity. But if that happens, the water is going to pass on so quickly. It's not going to give the vapors in the tube here time to condense. So we want the water to move slowly to allow condensation to happen slowly or e efficiently. So we usually use a counteractive flow or we go against the gravity. That is the reason why instead the water gets in from the bottom and gets out from the top. So it goes in the opposite direction, meaning it will go slower than how it could have gone if we were moving in the gravity. So our water in, water out, make sure you're able to remember that. So our salt solution is heated, it evaporates, the vapors get in here. So the water vapor gets in this tube and then it comes into the Leibig condenser. Note the uh, formula of writing Leibig condenser. And then when it gets into the Leibig condenser, it condenses and the water is collected. So the water is referred, the, the solution that is collected is referred to as the distillate. And in this case, the water is the one that is collected the first. So this is how simple distillation is. Later on, as we discuss on fractional distillation, we are going to see what is the major difference or what are some of the differences in this setup and the fractional distillation setup. And then we are going to make some conclusion, what distinguishes them too. So we talked about uh, some of the observations we noticed. So the water boils, it turns into a steam, it gets into the Leibig condenser, and then it cools. We talked about the Leibig condenser going in the opposite uh, direction to allow enough cooling uh, to increase the surface area for condensation. We'll talk about that later, but the water goes slowly to allow enough time for the uh, steam to or the vapors to condense. And then we collect the distillate. So what are some of the applications for this method? One of the application of distillation, simple distillation, is in the manufacture of wine and spirits. It also is used in the desalinization dis, dis, of seawater to obtain fresh water. So you see we are removing the, the salt from water and we are able to obtain that fresh water. We are not throwing away the water. Yes, and that brings us to the end of the session. I'll see you in the next lesson.